Intercom failed. Try again later. This video is about how to set up your Sina group intercom with your mates. I'll be sharing a very easy step-by-step -step way to do this with different Sina models. And I will also share some troubleshooting tips that you may have come across. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ming Li from Root Machinery. So a lot of riders own Sena communication devices with the intention of pairing group intercoms with their riding mates. So we have seen YouTube videos on how you daisy chain um, you know, one to four or, or using the, the Sena app. Uh, when I started using Sena, we have very low success rate uh, using whichever method. I finally found a very effective way, a very sure way and very easy way. Step one, you need to learn how to pair two devices, you know, as simple as it is. Some people don't even know how to do a one-to-one -one pairing. Okay, so that is very important part of the process, the pairing two devices. And in fact, you only pair two at one time. Okay. So when you want to go pairing mode, there are two Two ways you can do it you can shake it if you're on a 20s you see the blinking turns green that means it's in pairing mode it's ready to pair okay the other way is you can press and hold the jog down about eight to ten seconds now it's in pairing mode so what you need to do is the very important part is that only one device press to connect either one so i press this Yep, there you go, and it's pet. So did you notice that it takes a while to get connected, all right? So the very important part about pairing is only one device press to connect. And the second part, the second important part is wait. You have to wait, all right? That is uh, how you pair two devices. When you see it blinking twice, means it's on intercom. Now, the next part is, number two, is understand how the intercom network looks like. So you want to create a network between all the four devices and it should look like this. A should be connected to B, connected to C, connected to D individually. And then B to C, B to D, and then C to D. So you have like a network between all the devices. So you have to pair them individually. Let's say you are, you are using like uh, Sina 20 or 30, you can connect eight or more devices. So let's say, for example, the fifth device comes in. So now the fifth device, when he wants to join this network, he just need to connect to that individual pairing with A, B, C, and D. And then he will be in the network. Please do note, the 10 series limits is limited to only four connections uh, at one time. So troubleshooting. I think the easiest and the single most effective method to troubleshoot a connection problem with your intercom is that if any one device is not in the group and cannot join the group, no matter how, what he do or what he press, okay, is to repeat the process for that single device. So very important to remember, when you're doing the individual pairing, switch off the other devices. All right, just switch the other devices off. There's one-to-one -one pairing. So once a connection is established in, in the devices, it should, not, it should not go away. The device will remember that connection with your pals. So every time you go on a ride, automatically it, you guys should be connected um, on the go. So tap to connect, tap again to disconnect. Simple, very simple. So if you found this video to be useful, do like our video, subscribe to us for more videos like this. And meantime, ride safe, have fun. I'm Ming Li from Root Machinery, signing out.